Hi, welcome to NFL Talk with Angel. Bravo. Alex. And today's episode, we will be going over the divisional round and our prediction for next week, the championship round, to go to the one place every team dreams of going to, the Super Bowl. Oh my god, the Chiefs are going all the way. Bro, please, no. You're just disappointed because of anyways, <laughs> I know, hop, 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 hop off, you've been on them for okay for 18, wait. Since week three. I'm just kidding. No, yeah, since week three. Okay. Literally. <laughs> okay. All right. Starting off our divisional round, we had the Texans and the Ravens. It looked close in the beginning and then started to get out of hand in the second half. The start of the second half. That was it. Oh, yeah, that's that's when it kind of looked downhill. First half, it was 10-10. Next thing you know, forget it. Ravens win 34-10. to Now. We'll, actually, never mind. We'll talk about it next week. For We'll talk about it for the next week, not literally next week. Why? Do you think the Ravens look like a completed team against the, the Texans. Texans? I feel like we got a pretty good glimpse of that, but we'll definitely see it. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 they had a little struggles in the beginning. They had yeah. their struggles. Like we, saw, we saw some glimpses, for sure. But well, next if week, you we'll notice, see. though, the offense for the Texans wasn't really doing that good. No. The touchdown they did get was off of a a, 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 a punt return. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like, though, C.J. Stroud did everything he could, but he just came up short. Yeah. But anyways, Ravens win 34-10, to 10, eliminating the Texans and moving on to the championship round. First time since 2012. Congratulations. Also, they did um honor... Some what's that? What's the Ravens player from the 2012s? Jones, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I heard him say that. And then two of the number one seeds were playing that day. One on the AFC and the NFC now. Packers and Niners. Niners barely coming away. They barely, barely they literally barely. They literally were relying on a kick. They miss. shouldn't even be here. Man. What's it called? Um, Jordan Love was looking like Brett Favre. Yeah. Because he threw an interception. Yeah. No, no, no. That entire game, it was interesting because he was mirroring a lot of like crazy moments from Brett Favre's uh, time with the Packers. Yeah. Like it was, it was almost crazy how picture perfect it was. Yeah. Anyways, 49ers edge against the Packers 24-21. But... The Packers kicker is not good. Said by the coach. The coach said that whenever the kicker goes out there, he prays. Therefore, Packers coach does not have any confidence in the kicker. The kicker. That's probably why he missed. And that's literally why he missed. That would have probably caused this game to go into overtime. Or a Niners. I I I think still Niners. I wouldn't feel confident either if my coach would say that. Yeah. I think if you as a coach, if you say that. You're taking away your player's confidence. Yeah. And that's very bad because your player needs all the confidence he needs to be a better player. Yep. You're supposed to bring them up and up down. Yes. All right. <laughs> Speaking of. Uh, <laughs> now moving on to Sunday. We had two interesting close games. Speaking of players, go- uh, teams going down, the Buccaneers Went sink down, down as I see the what Lions. You did. That was nice. The Lions absolutely. Not obliterate. They didn't. Nah, I mean, it was hey, a. Cl- it was. I mean, at a certain point in time, it looked like they were absolutely going to dominate. They the rest were of only it. up by two scores in the fourth quarter, but then they scored, and then they were they were really edging this victory. Yeah, yeah. this one was a hard edge for the Lions. Yes, a real hard edge. Not not a, not as hard as the Niners though. That one's. But uh, yeah, <laughs> um. Welcome, this, Lion, this Lions team though looks really good compared to that Niners team again with these two different teams they've been playing. Yep. Yes. And I don't know. And I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna be for real. Not a single soul in the NFL that isn't a Niners fan wants to see the Niners go to the Super Bowl. I feel like everyone's rooting for either the Lions or the Ravens because yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody got the Chiefs. No, bro. Name 10 people then. 
I'm just kidding. Don't nah, name 10 people. Nah, you can't even <laughs> name 10 people. I know you're going to name somebody already. Yeah. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Okay, and then another close All right. edge game. It almost three. looked like Josh Allen was about to come away with it. But, but his team is To recreate slow. an iconic moment and an iconic phrase for Bills that they probably don't love. Wide right. Bills fall to the Chiefs. Alex. That was a fun game to watch. Of course it was. Just say the I was score. Just, I was just playing Uno. Your bro was not big. playing Uno mid-game. You were peeing your pants watching the it. The big bro. TV was right there. <laughs> bro, yeah. I know you were peeing your pants in that kick, bro. I know you were peeing your pants. So Stephon Diggs kind of sold the game yeah. for the Bills. Why? He's been he's been standing there like that for the past four years, bro. I thought he was injured like midway through the game because I haven't <laughs> been seeing him at all. <laughs> all right, but Chiefs we'll barely was. win, twenty-seven to twenty-four. A hey, win is a game. You mean a win is a yeah, win? Is a game. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> all right. Anyways, now to the conference championship. The most serious game. Because these games will take you to a place that every NFL player has dreamed since they were kids. This is what you have been fighting fighting for all season. The Super Bowl is on the line for four teams. You are one game away. Welcome to the conference championships. How did the Lions get there before Cowboys? We don't know. We Cowboys are just... Booty. An 0 and 16 Lions team made it here before you guys. Okay, I know I was my own team, but anyways, next. All right, let's let's go over the rounds. The so it looks like they're both going to be played on Sunday, both sort of early afternoon games. Okay, that's nice. All right, but this is where it all comes down. Where the theory. Will be busted or not. Yep. The logo theory will be busted or not. And if you've been living under a rock uh, for the past three years, the Super Bowl colors have pretty much shown the teams in the Super Bowl. Yep. And this year it is red and purple. Two years prior to this one, it was blue and orange. And what teams made it to the Super Bowl? Bengals and Rams. It was actually orange and yellow. Yeah. I'm tweaking. Wrong Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next last year's Super Bowl, green and red. What teams went to the Super Bowl? Chiefs and Eagles. Exactly. <laughs> so this one, orange and red. <sighs> You're tweaking. Purple and red. And what two teams are still in the championship round? Ravens and Niners. This was it. <sighs> is gonna prove it wrong. What? It's gonna be no. red, red. I want red, red. I'm It'll sorry. Red on red. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Alex, but I'm not. I'm praying that one color is true, and that's purple. I'm praying that one color is true. Yeah, I, I do not want to see the Chiefs going to the no. Super Bowl once again. And dude. I don't want to see the Niners there either. Me either. Which means we have two teams that we want to see. Ravens, Lions, Super Bowl. The Ravens and Chiefs can't play in the Super Bowl, bud. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, that, <laughs> that wasn't the one that said Ravens. I said Chiefs. So anyway, I just, just want to see the we're Chiefs. We're going two ahead of I ourselves. I don't care about the race. We're going Anyways. two ahead of ourselves. Okay. Anyways. Sunday, I, on January 28th at 12 p.m. Pacific time. We have the Ravens and the Chiefs. One seed versus the three seed. Not once, but twice. Because on the NFC, we have the three-seeded Lions versus the number one seed Niners. Both teams are red hot right now. We got the Lions versus... Bang, bang, Niner game. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're curious where you can watch these games, they're on your local television. The AFC Championship we played on CBS at 12 p.m. Pacific time. NFC Championship. Niners and Lions will be played on Channel 11. Fox. Fox. Or it could change depending on where you live, but California-wise, 11. Yeah. yeah. 11. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, 
welcome Angel and Alex. Your final chance to predict who is going to the Super Bowl. Okay. All our predictions have been wrong up to now. Yes. This is our final this chance. This is where we're going to get it right. On the AFC, give me the goddamn Ravens. On the, on the AFC, I agree with Angel. Give me the Baltimore Ravens. On the AFC, give me... Give me the Chiefs. Ah, bro. Of course he's going with Chiefs Kingdom. Anyways, if you're curious, I did lose my bet. And if you are curious, too, I did give Alex the $5. And, bravo, you oh, owe me the 5 bucks I, a month. Yes, I gave game. him his $5 before you, you were able to yeah, give him his $5. You need to message me. You need to message me. Look, I message you put your day. $5 in the microphone right now I got if you. you have it on you. Yeah, look, hear that? Hear that? Paper, five dollars. Uh, I'll get. I'll get to that in a minute. You just have to message me at night. No messages being needed. I didn't even message him, or he didn't message me. I remember. I'm a very forgetful person. Okay. Oh. All right. That's continue. why he keeps on forgetting how much the ra- the rate is like. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, he's walking now. He's walking ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen. And he came back. And he's back. <laughs> that was. I a just realized I got. I just realized I got to finish a podcast. Okay. Anyways, I got the Ravens going to the Super Bowl, and if you're curious, the Super Bowl is in Las Vegas. Halftime show is Usher. How do you guys feel about that? That's gonna be boring. It's gonna be yeah. weird. They need to get some. I don't know. Why are they bringing pop stars to the Super Bowl? I know. Like I get it. I like. Like people would like. It. I think the the best the the most recent good one was probably the um the Rams and Bengals one. Yeah, that one was pretty nice. But I wouldn't say it's the best, but yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It, was, it was the best in recent years. Yes. All right. And on the NFC, I say this one's fifty fifty, and I got yeah. one side of the fifty. Give me the goddamn Detroit Lions. All right, good pick. And the NFC wise. One team, in my opinion, looks better than the other. And that one team has not even won a bowl yet. Give me the goddamn Detroit Lions. Yeah. And me, I'm different. You're going. Everybody <sighs> knows that. Oh Dude, my God. you do not want to see that Super Bowl rematch. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that Super Bowl rematch. I got the Niners. Look, no one wants to if see the that. Niners go to the Super Bowl, they're going to have a rematch from both teams. I they know. played the Ravens and they played the Chiefs in the Super Bowl already. And they got beaten by both teams. I know, but I just, I'm just saying. I just don't want to see. I see the Niners. I, 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 I don't want to see the Niners. I'm, I'm sorry. Niners. I, don't want to I made another bet. I need to stop betting. I know. You keep betting your pride away. on this one? Speak, no, speaking, thank you. <laughs> speaking no, of thank another you. bet <laughs> that Angel made. Oh, yeah. I made a bet with my dad recently and... um. I wear the 49ers jersey where everybody's seen me in the office. I got a nice picture. He's he's kind of a beep. Yeah, that word. Beep. beep, beep. Yeah, you're a little beep. Anyway. <laughs> just kidding. You're just mad. <laughs> I <right>. am mad. <laughs> so, Angel, <laughs> name your final prediction on who's going. Give me the damn Lions and Ravens. Give me the Lions and the Ravens. Give me the cheese and 49ers. <sighs> now. Actually, I'll save it. I'll save it for. Oh, I'll you gotta stay it. tuned. You gotta stay tuned. I'll, you gotta stay tuned for next week. We got two more episodes. No, yeah, two, two more. more ep- wait, no, three more episodes. We have next week, and then oh, the, we gonna go the Pro there. Bowl, oh, that's right. and then we have the Super Bowl. So, yeah. and then the Super Bowl recap. Oh, it's so four episodes. Four episodes. There you go. So, guys, stay tuned. It's been very stay fun. Tuned. Just so you know. A lot of work has been done. <laughs> yes, a lot. Literally. Literally. Do you want to go over any possible team hirings that just happened? Okay. And if you're curious, we have some possible coach hirings. Bill Belichick. I don't know where he's going, but we're about to find out. Everybody knows that Raiders got a new one. Yeah, Raiders. Raiders I mean, did end up keeping their head coach. Antonio Pierce. GM was just hired an hour ago. 
uh, the Atlanta Chargers, Falcons. Chargers, Tom, Chargers GM, Tom, uh, what's his face? We'll get back to that. <laughs> anyway, we'll go over the firings first from head, every head coach. So the Falcons fire their head coach, Arthur Smith, on January 7th after they finished a while ago. Buffalo Bills, they fired their offensive coordinator. Lions fired basically everybody. <laughs> head coach, general manager, assistant head coach, and QB's coach. Bears basically fired everybody. Offensive coordinator, quarterback's coach, receiver's coach, running back coach, assistant tight end coach. Yep. Cleveland Browns fired their running back coach. Jacksonville Jaguars fired their defensive coordinator and running back coach. Okay, I think these are old. Some of these are old and some of these are new. Las Vegas Raiders fired Josh McDowell. Yeah, these are old. Yeah, these are getting old. And then Dave Ziegler, whoever that is. Oh, yeah, okay. Doesn't yeah, matter. Everybody the, knows these. These are, these are old. You don't have to go over them. Now... We got our rookie of the year. We've been say I uh, most of us have been saying it since the beginning. Yes. 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 CJ. 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 CJ Stroud wins offensive rookie, rookie of, of the, the year. year. We knew that. Was Hold coming. on. Raiders expected to sign Tom Telesco as next GM. Will you look at that? Let's look at the power rankings of the top four teams in the playoffs right now. We're just going over a lot of stuff. Number one, Baltimore Ravens. Number two, San Francisco 49ers. Number three, Detroit Lions. And number four, Kansas City Chiefs. You guys did lose to us, so you were going to be last and all that. I don't even know how that happened. <sighs> Dude, the Cowboys were right there. The Cowboys. We damn boys. We got these. We damn boys, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe Is there anything year. else you guys like? Was it this year? Any, any, shut, 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 oh. shut up. any news you guys have? I got no news, but I'm just going to say this is going to be my personal prediction. That Chiefs are winning it. No, uh, if Niners don't win it all this year, they're doomed for the next five years. They yes, owe too true, much. True, true. They owe they owe too much money. And their players next year are gonna want a lot, especially their quarterback Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, yep. He is gonna want a bag because he's still on his rookie contract, getting paid eight hundred thousand. Meanwhile, seventh his, round pick, 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 pick. Mr. And but he's playing like a good quarterback, but he's also playing like a bad quarterback. Depends which he's in between. You he gotta choose. That's all I'm gonna say though. 49ers, you are doomed. Yeah. If you don't win it. I see Baltimore winning, and if Baltimore does win, it's obvious. So wait, hold on. Who do you guys think is gonna win MVP? Probably Lamar. He's been so Lamar. So, he gets if, pretty consistent. He's pretty consistent. Yeah, Lamar. So Lamar with the MVP, and. If they win the championship this season, I say he's also winning Super Bowl MVP. Because I don't see anybody else on the team winning besides him. Yeah. Hmm. But save who's winning for next week. Mm-hmm. We'll find out all next week. Stay tuned. Make sure you keep up I because predict the future, these episodes so. are just going to keep going by faster and faster. I predict the future. Shorter and shorter. You would know something about <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's it for NFL Talk today. You're here with Angel Bravo. And we will see you next week. <laughs>